Hi YouTube family, this is Aika from River Moon's Gastric Bypass Journey. Um, I look a hot mess right now. I uh, had my surgery on Monday, today is Friday. Um, they kept me a little bit longer because I had, uh, my hemoglobin had dropped and I needed three blood transfusions. But I'm all better now. They just gave me the A-OK -okay to go home. So this is going to be a very short video, unfortunately. Um, I would have videoed, um, videotaped uh, my first day and stuff like that. But there's just so much going on. I didn't really realize until afterwards. And my family kept saying, you need to record a video, record a video. I just didn't have the strength or the energy to do it. So I'm waiting for my husband now to get here so that um, I can take my shower and get dressed and finally go home. It is now, let's see, 11.18 in the morning. And I'm just laying here waiting on my hubby to get here. So, so far so good, besides seeing the blood transfusions and all, um, and my hemoglobin dropping. I haven't had much gas pain. Um, I'm on full, full liquids now. They put me on full liquids as of yesterday. Um, so, fasting tomato soup, and about four teaspoons of it, and I was full. I can't, I was full. Um, also, I've been drinking some decaffeinated tea and some sugar-free Minimay lemonade, which has been the bomb, I tell you. Um, still a little bit droggy. They have me on my pain medications. Um, I don't like taking morphine, so I had them stop that a couple of days ago. My blood pressure is back to normal. Um, and obviously, sip, sip, sip. <laughs> but fortunately for me, I have been able to drink my liquids without having to put it in to that, um, the little bitty cups. Let's see. They started me off with these teeny tiny one ounce cups the very first day. Um, once every, um, 30 minutes. And then I progress to once every 15 minutes. And on day three, post-op, I am now able to drink without a problem. So, fortunately, I haven't had any pain or anything like that lately. Um, like I said, my only weird sensation is when I eat, and that's because I'll take like three teaspoons of the tomato soup, which I usually don't like tomato soup, but it was amazing. Oh my God. Um, I took three, three to four teaspoons of tomato soup and I was so full, like so full. I was so happy about it. I was like, okay, it worked great. So I know I'm pretty swollen right now. Oh, let me give you my stats. So my beginning weight was 355 pounds. That was back in July of last year. Um, that was my starting weight, heaviest weight recorded. Um, and I don't have my books and stuff on me right now. But my surgery weight was 305, which was awesome. Because I was on the OptiFast. And the day after OptiFast, I had to do um, clear liquids only. Then the day of surgery, there was nothing in my mouth. And then the day after surgery, they had me on liquids only, um, or clear liquids. And then the next day, I was on clear liquids. And then again, I just progressed to um, the full liquids as of yesterday. Uh, from my understanding, I'll be on the full liquids until uh, the 16th. That's when I go to Parit stage. Yay! Um, I was able to eat Jello and stuff like that. I'm not the Jello here. I don't really like it. <laughs> so, this is the Jello they've been giving me. 
and I don't like it. So I just try to give it to my husband. He ate one and said, no, that's nasty. So <laughs> it is what it is. But I'm going to cut this video short just to let everybody know that I'm doing great. I am on the loser's bench. Yay. I've been wanting this for so long. Um, I haven't had the dry mouth. Or I used the biotin spray once. Um, for the most part, they gave me... I haven't even used my chapstick. Go figure. Um, I used the biotin spray once. Uh, then they had me some ice chips with like this little swap thing. So I was keeping my mouth moist with that. So a lot of stuff that other people needed, I really didn't need that stuff. Um, out of my bag, when I did my uh, what I'm packing bag, uh, I used my pajama bottoms. I think that was it. Yeah, I used my pajama bottoms. Nothing else has been touched or really open. My bag is still sitting over in a little corner. Um, because of my BMI, I'm going to be doing the love knock shots twice a day, once in each thigh for the next two weeks. That's going to be fun. So they show my husband how to give me the injections because I'm a big baby and I'm not going to do it. Um, but yeah, all I needed to bring was myself. Oh, I use my toothbrush and toothpaste, obviously. So I use my toothbrush and toothpaste, my pajama bottoms. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. All the other stuff was just there. My husband tried to see if I wanted to use, um, like my crossword puzzles and stuff like that. I just didn't have a need or want for it. And then I got the TV, so I've been watching TV. And of course with my food addiction, I've been sitting here watching Food Network. I want, you know what, I want to take that back. It's not even about my food addiction. I just love to cook. So it is what it is. I still love to cook. And it was amazing that um, they said after the surgery, you'll appreciate the smells of food, but not want it. And I couldn't grasp you know, that feeling um, until it happened. My husband had a steak and cheese sandwich, Philly steak and cheese sandwich. And he had a chicken and bacon cheese sandwich. And he got it from Starbucks, that's downstairs um, here at the hospital. And it smelled wonderful, but I didn't have a want for it. I was like, that smells really good. And he was like, oh baby, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll leave out of here. And I was like, no, you're fine. I don't, I don't want any. I was like, I have my four little teaspoons of my soup, and I'm good. Go figure. So he was able to eat comfortably without feeling like that he was doing something to me. That's a good thing. But I just sat here and drinking on my tea, and I probably ate about four, eight about 12 teaspoons of soup in the last three days. I'm not hungry at all, but I have been killing this Minute Maid Light. Why I tell you, this stuff is life. I am loving it. So, but yeah, I haven't had to deal with dry lips, chapped lips, anything like that. Pretty well hydrated. Um, let me see. I still got my bag going. Had a couple of bags going. My room is dirty. Sorry. My husband has been kind of sleeping there with me during this whole ordeal. He's been a trooper. He misses me. My cats and my dog misses me. My kids misses me. So just came ready to get home. And then my best friend is at the house. She's She's been a trooper, a real true friend, and taking care of my husband and my kids while I'm up in here, um, in prison. <laughs> but, again, it's getting about to 10 minutes. I'm um, going to take my shower as soon as my husband gets here, and then I'm going to be going home. 
So, I will be giving you guys another video probably Thursday of next week. Um, that's when my first uh, post-op appointment is. Um, and I'm not going to weigh myself till then. I know I had a lot of little weight that they gave me, a lot of fluids, to the point where it kind of hindered my breathing. I was breathing heavy and things of that nature. But they gave me a diuretic in my IV to cause me to, you know, let some of that water out. So, being that I know I'm probably looking swollen right now, but that's okay. Um, I'm not going to torture myself by getting on onto a um, scale and cry about the fact that it probably looked like I gained uh, 10 or 15 pounds when I know it's nothing but water. Like I said, I haven't eaten any food um, besides OptiFast since Saturday. Um, and a little teaspoons of food I've been eating ain't enough for nothing. Um, so I know if I gain 15 pounds, it's nothing but water. So I'm just not even gonna psych myself out and put myself through the mental trauma of, oh my God, I gained weight. No, I didn't, it was water and it's gonna come off. So I wanted to let you guys know how I was doing. Again, yay, I'm gonna lose this bitch. And thank you again for Watch my videos, and if you like, if you like this video, want to see more like it, hit the like button and subscribe, and hit that little bell so you can get notifications when I get more, um, upload more videos. But again, thank you for watching River Lungs Bypass Gastric Bypass Journey, and you guys have yourselves a fantabulous day. And it's, from my understanding, it's really really hot. Um, everybody's saying it's a heat wave going on. I'm in Ohio, um, say so it's real hot and muggy, so stay hydrated. Ooh, I look a hot mess, but stay hydrated, stay safe, and you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.